Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning, good afternoon. It's really a great pleasure that I participate today with you in commemorating our 60th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Canada and Morocco. And we have a theme, Concordia Morocco Academic and Scientific Dialogues. As you know, we forge deep ties in support of our respective strategic commitments in sustainable energy and economic models. I would also like today to express our sincere gratitude to Concordia University and our embassy in Canada for the invitation and also for the organization of these events. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, it's really under the enlightened leadership of His Majesty King Mohammed VI that we have more than a commitment today, a commitment to sustainable development. And it has really become a reality on the ground in Morocco. The kingdom today aims to become one of the pioneering countries in terms of decarbonization. As you know, Morocco submitted in June 2021 its updated NDC. We have a new ambition of more than 45% greenhouse gas emissions reduction by 2030. And we plan that through 61 projects and actions covering seven sectors. We launched a low carbon development strategy in order to achieve an integrated common and shared vision. We like to model before making any commitments on, on paper. We really want to increase our share of renewable energies to exceed the 52% target in the energy mix by 2030. Today, we have around 50 renewable energy projects with an installed capacity of four gigawatts that are already in service. We have more than 60 other projects that are under development or implementation. But as I said at COP26 in Glasgow, it's definitely not enough. Morocco intends to capitalize on its recent achievements to position itself in emerging markets on the green economy and clean economy. This is a positioning that involves a process of decarbonization of the whole economy, including the industrial sector and the harder to abate sectors like logistics and heavy industries. Renewable energy projects are important. They are not the only solution, but they are definitely important. They are made possible in Morocco thanks to a legislative, regulatory and institutional framework arsenal. And we continue to really update and improve uh, that framework to improve the business climate to make the renewable energy, the energy sector much more attractive to private investors. And this is also in line with our new development model. And I really encourage you to read the report that was submitted to His Majesty uh, in June la of last year. But in the area of renewable energies and technologies, we broken it down into objectives, multiple objectives that aim first to establish totally new institutional structure, structure totally new institutional architecture around first a stronger regulator. We also want to separate the role of actors and players in the field. We want to restructure the public companies that are in this sector and we want to implement these actions to build an, an international positioning, a strong international positioning for Morocco as a partner that is competitive, carbon neutral, eco-responsible and sustainable. So we also have a series of legislative and regulatory reforms that have been put in place that are really in line with the Kingdom's guidelines to improve the business climate, to further strengthen transparency, to really facilitate access to information related to investments of opportunities and costs of transaction. We want to improve authorization procedures. All this to strengthen the attractiveness of the energy sector to national and international private investors and accelerate a national ecosystem that is built around energy technologies, green technologies and the like. Today, as you know, we have a real political will to accelerate the pace of the 80 measures that we identified. And those 80 measures are covering uh, multiple sectors going from transport, buildings, industry, 
public lightning and agriculture. In theory, their implementation would save more than 20% of our energy consumption. We think that it will save much more than that by 2030. And more importantly, it will create more than 80,000 new jobs. The other thing that we're trying to do as well is to recreate innovative ecosystems for the financial support of research projects. We are involving industrials, we are involving universities and academia, and we want to develop new research platforms that will be at the service of innovation and of researchers. There are several platforms that have already been set up in Morocco. I will cite a few of them. You have the Green Energy Park, that is really a platform for testing, research and training and renewable energies. We have the Green and Smart Building Park, that is an innovative platform dedicated to research and development in the field of green buildings and smart grids. We have also the development of other platforms like Green Hydrogen Platform, Biomass and Energy Agriculture Nexus, desalination and water treatment by 2030. We want to implement real and actionable partnerships involving an even stronger commitment from the private sector and universities, both in terms of innovation, but also in terms of transfer of know-how, of capacity building, and the very important integration to industry and services. Ladies and gentlemen, excellencies, with the establishment of official diplomatic relations between Canada and Morocco that dates back to 1962, I'd like to re-celebrate today with you this anniversary. The two countries maintain excellent bilateral relationships, particularly in the fields of energy and sustainable development. Today, our two countries are not encouraged, but forced to further intensify our cooperation <clears throat> in the areas of sustainable energy with the view of gradually establishing a global energy partnership that is based on uh, much more intensive energy exchanges. There is definitely a need to strengthen a close collaboration between our uh, industrial sectors, but also in the areas of R&D, science innovation and universities. We are here for you and we would like to welcome you to Morocco whenever you want to come. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye-bye.